Scorpions possess a stinging apparatus on their tail that injects venom into their victims. Most stings cause local pain, inflammation, and mild systemic reactions. Treatment involves analgesics, wound care, and supportive measures. The bark scorpion can cause severe and potentially fatal systemic responses due to its neurotoxic venom. In such cases, immediate action is crucial. The victim should be rushed to the emergency department where antivenom can be administered. Bees and wasps are stinging insects that cause a wheel and flare reaction upon stinging. Emergency care includes swift removal of the stinger and applying an ice pack to alleviate pain and swelling. To remove the stinger, gently scrape or brush it off with the edge of a needle or a similar object. Avoid using tweezers as they may squeeze the venom sac and worsen the situation. If a patient is allergic to bee or wasp venom, a severe allergic response like hives, pruritus, and or lip or tongue swelling may occur. In such cases, immediate emergency care is necessary. Individuals with known allergies should carry an EpiPen for self-administration of intramuscular epinephrine if they encounter a bee or a wasp sting. Some snakes are venomous and can lead to serious systemic reactions. In the event of a snake bite, the victim should be moved to a safe area away from the snake and remain at rest to reduce venom circulation. The bitten extremity should be immobilized and kept below the heart level. Constricting clothing and jewelry must be removed before swelling occurs. To slow venom circulation, a constricting band may be applied proximal to the wound if immediate transport to the hospital is not possible. However, this band should be monitored and loosened if edema occurs. It's important not to incise or suck the wound to remove venom, and applying ice is also discouraged. Emergency care at a hospital should be sought as soon as possible. Antivenom may be administered, along with supported measures to manage the effects of snake venom. Always remain aware of the patient's sensitivity to venom as reactions can be localized or generalized. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.